Okay, we're ready. There are outstanding college athletes everywhere, and we all have our favorite ones. But have you ever thought it odd to wonder why these players don't get paid for their abilities? Um, well, the debated topic on whether college athletes, especially football players, should get paid has been one of recent interest. And um, recently, government officials, particularly at Northwestern University, ruled that uh, football players act as employees of, to their university. So that means these players have the right to form a union and argue and bargue of, bargain over um, whether um, or about working conditions, such as whether they should get paid or not. And I tend to believe they should. Um, first off, they devote 43.3 hours per week to their sport, and that is 3.3 uh, more hours than the average American works per week. And so that shows how they truly act as employees uh, due to how long they work. Um, and because they work so long, they can't dedicate themselves to a job outside of their sport um, during their season. And as we know, football players go through a lot of physical damage to their body and risk getting injured and um, getting hit over and over again. So I think it's the right thing to do to pay players uh, who are dedicated um, to their fierce sport. Football players help the school tremendously. Um, the NCAA brings in $11 billion in annual revenue from this sport. And the players, of course, receive none of this. Um, most of you might think that most of this money goes towards their education, but it actually doesn't. It goes towards paying college, uh, coaches, athletic directors, um, weight training staff. For example, Nick Saban, um, Alabama's head coach, gets paid $7 million a year. Instead of paying coaches absurd amounts of money, some of this money should go to the actual players who are bringing in the revenue. So along with players bringing in revenue, um, they also act as core marketers for their school. As athletics and football success um, increases and they get, um, they have success, schools around the nation, or students around the nation, gain, uh, look to this school, and the school gains national recognition, and students become aware of this. So like in 2010, if it wasn't for college football, Boise State would have not been known nationally like it was during that time, but because of their football team, students started flocking in to that school. Uh, the players help in uh, the process of admitting school students to schools, and I think they should be rewarded for helping the school grow. And as uh, more students know about the school and become aware of it, um, there's a wider range of applicants. Therefore, there's a higher caliber of admitted students coming into the school, and a uh, higher caliber of intelligence. So, for instance, when Boston College's quarterback Doug Flutie won the Heisman Trophy, the following year the undergraduate admissions rose rapidly and skyrocketed, and the average SAT score of the upcoming freshman went up 110 points. So, uh, these football players are a leading factor in promoting and helping the school grow. Education is key. So, paying athletes will only help the athletes stay longer at their university to uh, get a longer education. Most athletes want to go into the pros so they can get money, so if you pay them a little in college, they won't want to leave early and go to the pros. Um, most of them want an education, but some don't have the money to uh, pay for food and uh, basic necessities, and some even have a family to take care of. And um, for example, Jadavion Clowney, a South Carolina defensive end, entered the NFL draft early this year. And um, when people asked him why, he said, "If he would have stayed, in, if he were paid in college, he would have stayed an extra year. And if he had the chance to take care of his family through college, then he would have. But because he spent so much time on the football field, he, he couldn't get a job, and so therefore he went to the NFL earlier." So if you pay the player, it will help them stay longer at their college. Um, college football coaches getting paid was a hot topic in 1905 when the NCAA first started. But as you know, college football, players do get, college football coaches do get paid and at a good rate. And I think the same should be done about the athletes. 
They shouldn't get paid a lot of money, but a substantial amount to help with necessary needs should, would be uh, good. Some players do receive scholarships, but these scholarships just help, um, don't help with necess necessity or ne necessary needs, such as food and paying for family. So, in conclusion, college football players should, um, they work more than the average American. College football players bring in revenue for the school. College football players act as core marketers for the school, help the school grow. And so, why shouldn't these players get paid for, uh, to stay longer for their education, and how longer before these players get paid? So, I ask for your consideration on the idea of paying student athletes and letting them receive some money for what they do. Here's a quick video on why it's considered a job. Turn it up on the computer monitor. Ruling football counts as a job. According to a ruling by the National Labor Relations Board, it should. That ruling highlighted the extreme number of hours college football players devote to their sport and pointed out how they have to abide by special rules typically associated with jobs, including severe restrictions on social media. Check this out from the ruling, quote, the players are prohibited from denying a coach's friend request, and the former's postings are monitored. So basically, what comes with a job? Northwestern University disagreed with the decision, and it is appealing the ruling right now. The former college athletes leading this effort are headed to Washington this very week to make their case to members of Congress. That effort is being led by Ramogi Huma, the president of the College Athletes Players Association. So that's just basically showing how people are, um, they're considering it a job, and so people are starting to um, go to Congress and looking